Developing this afternoon, a Walton County man is recovering after losing his leg in a lawnmower explosion. Investigators say he filled his lawnmower with an explosive material, used it as a shooting target, and then fired. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is now live in Clark County. And Taisha, you found out how easy that material is to buy. It's called Tannerite, and even though it's a binary explosive, it's easy to get. I walked right into the store and bought it. It's normally used for target practice, but it says right here on the label, if used the wrong way, it can cause injury or death. But it shook the whole house. Lydia Mays was in her bedroom on Saturday afternoon when she heard several gunshots. She thought that was normal, but what she heard next really frightened her. A minutes later, I heard him screaming, and so I came downstairs, and we were all... Like looking out the front window. According to investigators, her neighbor across the street, David Presley, filled an old lawnmower with three pounds of tannerite, an explosive material. Then he shot at it several times. You would have had to be on like drugs or something to think that it was a good idea to play with that and try to blow up a lawnmower. I spoke to Walton County Sheriff Joe Chapman on the phone. He said you're supposed to put less than a pound of tannerite into a target you want to shoot and stand at least 100 yards away. The small explosion lets you know you hit the target. Police say he used three pounds of tannerite and only stood 25 yards away, while two teens recorded it on their cell phones. The explosion took Presley's leg off, and it could have done much more. We were all in the house, so that was, I was pretty glad that you know we were outside. When I spoke to Sheriff Chapman on the phone, he said this time of year, tannerite becomes a bigger problem in Walton County. I'll explain why on Channel 2 Action News at 5. We're live in Athens. I'm Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.